now set up the CP cleaner. So we will just uh, move forward to the other ones with new to this premium um, add-ons here. <coughs> we'll set it up later on. Um, we will just um, set up the CP cleaner. Um, actually, before we do that, um, CP cleaner, I use this to actually um, clean my server for um, for storage. Let's say, for example, for, for resource storage. Let's say, for example, um, it you can um, you can find easily the the files that is consuming a lot of storage resource in your server through this app. Um, even if you cannot manage it through your server, which is you can only manage it within your users, the cPanel user, it is still um, really helpful when it comes to um, finding the the let's say for example backup files that you don't really need anymore, the log files, the the files that are that are consuming a lot of storage in your server and then it will list all those files for you when you run this one in each C panel. Okay. This is for each C panel so this is helpful and that's why I use this as well. So we can um, search for the installation code. We will just install it through Z's process. This. this is their official um, domain, I believe. So, as you can see, so this is their official one. To the documentation and then here's the installation file. So go ahead to your um Hello. Go ahead to your oops sorry. these commands Okay, so um, it's not working because, as you can see here, their domain is not um, SSL SSL configured, probably. But don't worry about that. Um, this application, I've used this even even with my my colleague. They're still using this one. Um, don't have to worry about that. 
so what we can do it's it's here it's it doesn't go through the installation it doesn't go through because there's no SSL in the domain so what what we want to do is to um, so it's they, they have um, there's an instruction here to add no check certificate can't verify so we should just uh, get connected and secure the use okay and okay so what we can do is to copy this one by one and then copy this 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 wget um, command is is a command which you are downloading the file in this link here okay and since they don't have a certificate and cpanel knows that which cpanel is 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 just securing your server so it did not go through because they think that it's not a secure file because it's not SSL certified so to, to go through without SSL then let's just paste after this the no check certificate and then click on that one so as you can see it downloaded the file now this file which is um, stored here okay and stored here so this is the file as you can see so the next one let's just um, copy the the rest of the code and paste it in our server and enter so installation complete cpanel user will now have access to cp cleaner from the files I can group I can group in cpanel so let's verify that so let's go to our list of users so we have uninstalled recently um, the main domain of the server so let's click on this one to log in directly to cpanel cpanel user so if we search on ccp cleaner as you can see guys so there's an app here and how you can scan you can start scanning here and it will show you as you can see here a list of files that you can select to delete okay so this is very important especially when you are um, when you are using shared book I mean when you're when you have you're you're providing a service of like shared hosting and also even if you're just a user um, it's really a good feature if you have this in your server or in your provider because you will not be um, overloaded with storage files that you don't know it exists let's say for example the log files um the trash but what if what if the server administrator is not um, automatically cleaning it up and you don't have um you don't have an idea why your storage is is building up while you're you do delete your backup files and whatsoever so you can check here what are the sizes that are consuming a lot of resources or a lot of storage in your in your cpanel account so you can you can then just clean it up but make sure by the way to um, to make sure that you know what you are cleaning up and the good thing about this um, 
application by the way is it only um, selects the ones that are not that will not conflict if if you delete them so they select usually let's say the log files the backup the zip files that you don't that is not actually a default cpanel system file so this is the the nice thing about this app so you can just go back to cpanel go back here so that's it so it's here this is the icon done with our CP cleaner and then let's go ahead to the Softaculous. Okay, so let's, let's proceed and installing Softaculous. <coughs> Excuse me, so don't worry about this guys. Um, all of the all of the codes, the installation, I will create a blog for it and just click on that the link in the description I will show everything there um, within within this within a few days later on I will, show, I, will I will provide it there if it's not yet there or else if you can you can just post the video and check on the the, the ones I showed you earlier in this video so